And just a disclaimer out there. If you don't feel comfortable working with electricity and just don't mess with it. Call a licensed electrician to do this stuff because electricity can kill you. Hi guys. Welcome back. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Shane here. Today on Tug's DIY, we are going to take this. This, this wire goes to the uh, stove. Twelve or it's uh, six three. Yeah, no ground. Eventually, I am going to replace this wire because there's no ground at all to it. Um, we'll replace it, but that wire is $378 for 100 feet. So I will be replacing it and I'll bring you guys along for this when I do replace it. I want to get the reason I want to get a hundred I want to get a hundred feet of it is I want to put a 50 amp panel out in uh, a sub panel out in the garage and uh, get rid of this air compressor wire and hook all the outlets and lights and stuff in its own panel out there that way if I'm out there running table saw and I happen to trip the breaker I don't have to run all the way down here I can do it right out there anything so that's why I need at least 100 feet of it right here this is almost I measured out it's about 23 feet so possibly about 30 feet for that and I'm thinking the rest of it the 60 feet should get me into where I want to go in the garage so I'm gonna put you on the other camera here get you over to the other room and we're going to pull this wire out and get it rerouted and then back in and then land it all right guys let's do it over here on the other side and so yeah that's the feed to the stove right there i want to get it and run it along this this floor joist just in on the other side, drop it down, and run on the bottom of the floor joist in there. But, i got to pull it from there, take it down. See how it just kind of just hangs out? Look, ain't that awesome? That's just great stuff, ain't it? Just hangs out wherever it wants to be. So yeah, that's got to come out. And it's going to go, like I said, up in here. I want to attach it right to that floor joist. So, I'm going to set you up here while I tear this out. Alright, sorry for that light, but let's get this out of there. I should be able to pull this. Pull this out. Just like so. Over 
here. So yeah, they used a couple nails up here in this corner to wrap around the wire. Don't do that. The nails could dig into your, your wire, cause issues. Alright. Now we get it behind that plumbing. I gotta get out behind that board. Gotta go up on the back side of that plumbing. Get that part done. So. 
put you this over that. Over that. Before I screw that up, we'll see if we can uh, have any issues getting it over here. Yeah, we gained quite a foot going that way. So, let's get this screwed up. I gotta find some screws. Anybody see what I do with my screws? Right back. We're gonna find some short screws. Hi guys. Got the screws. Some hitching cords. Uh, all right, we're gonna start. I, I don't have enough strapping to do the whole thing right. I got, got just enough right now. But... Screws I got are number two square bit. Cheater. Alright. Screw this down. One right about here. I'm just using uh all I have is some three quarter inch uh PVC conduit strapping. Smith's and quarter drywall screws. Half inch. The half inch PVC uh, conduits. A whole lot better. So we'll put one right here. Probably can't see me because of that stupid light. We'll put one right in there. Off 
the metal cross box there. Put that screw. All right, what I'm working on now, it's hard to get a good camera angle in there, so I want to set y'all <coughs> up here. Might as well hang it down to you. Now we can 
this wire lined up, stripped. Right about there. These are individually wrapped with uh, paper. Sorry guys, I forgot to hit the cord, but we got the wire in the box. Got it down. I got the neutral weighted. Working on the red wire. And I was saying, when you strip your wires, uh, it's wanting to land them in your panel. Don't strip them too long where the, where the uh, copper sticking out too much. And don't strip them too short to where you're landing on the casing. This one's going to be too long. Move that off. Like so. Stick your dude in there. Tighten it down. A stranded wire, tighten it down, back it off, tighten it down again. Gives you a little more traction. But don't strip your screws out. And yeah, don't that look so much better? Got a big old honking mess that was in there. Alright, stove's done. Turn it back on. You'll double check it. We'll bring it back. All right. Well, guys, wires was replaced, moved, or not replaced, but moved. Better situation than the, the way it was going. So, but yeah, it's all in there. Nice and neat. Good and tight. Always make sure your connections are good and tight. Like I said, on standard wire, tighten it down, back it off, tighten it down again, and you get a little more. <coughs> Let's flatten some strands out better. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Later. Have a great day. Bye.